Welcome to MTD CNC Global. I am here again with Bill, and we are now in front of the Fanuc Robo Drill, an excellent machine. And we're going to discuss a little bit about a process that you had implemented previously on another machine that you decided to replicate here on the Robo Drill. And I'd like to learn a little bit more about that, Bill. Can you share with our audience a little bit more about what you did on a prior machine, which I know you're going to go into detail about, but I don't want to <laughs> spoil it. I don't want to give any spoiler, but spoiler alert, alert. we're about to learn something new. Um, so, Bill, please go into it and let us know what we're doing here. All right. Thank you again for being here. So five years ago, six years ago, we bought two Kiwa horizontals, a six-pallet and an eight-pallet machine. With those machines, when we purchased them, we bought two tombstones from KME. So they have four, two on each side, four rotary pallets. So we use those in those machines eight, ten hours a day, five, six days a week. Putting a part in there, we can get the five sides, any angle, and we'll completely finish the part. We take it off there, flip it over into a vise, and mill off the back and do whatever we need to do. The concept has worked so great, and unfortunately the key was are too expensive, so I haven't bought any more since, but we purchased a robo drill two years ago, and we just purchased another one last month. So what I've done on these is I put a double trunnion KME head on one pallet and four double lock vices on the other pallet. So we can put our parts in there, get the five sides, any angle, any facet on those parts, two at a time, flip them off of there onto the other pallet with the vices and mill off the back. We put four double lock vices on there so we can use one or two of those vices to get those two parts finished and can run a second job on the other vices. So we're emulating what we do in the horizontals with just as good of a machine, but a little less capacity and a little less money. And it's worked so well, as I said, that we now have two of them and we're running them that way. We have one operator running both machines, set them up in a cell. He's got the double trunnion on both machines four vices on both machines, so we're able to run complicated work. It's three plus two, it's not five axis work, but we're able to get all of that finished. We have a family of parts that we run continually on the one machine, and then we have multiple jobs we run on the other machine to keep them busy. So is this a part that you had been machining previously and it just wasn't as efficient, or did you take on this job knowing that you would have the ability on these machines to create this part more efficiently? We've been doing the job in a vertical on dividing heads. So we had two KME dividing heads in there. We're getting the four sides of the part. We had to flip it on the vices then three more times. We put them in here. We were able to cut off an operation, also about a minute of cycle time. And with the pallets, the spindle's constantly turning. So we have a, on the verticals, we had about a four minute changeover on a seven minute cycle time. So 11 minutes to make two, make one part or 22 minutes to make two. We put them in here, we have zero downtime. We cut a minute off the cycle time. So now we're making the parts in six minutes, a true six minutes. I really like that. And I don't know if your math is better than mine, but if I'm doing the math per part, and I know that I have a more than 50% setup time on a seven minute program, and I've removed that completely times X amount of parts, that's paying for the setup right away. Yes, absolutely. And no, it's a two, you know, they look for a two year payback and I honestly have not done the full math on it, but we'll be there. Yeah. We will be there because yeah, we're getting twice as so many parts on it a day. So on <laughs> the Kiwas, are you one and dones and on the robo drills, it's a two op, but reduced from a four or five op? Basically, yes. So it's, we're doing the same thing on different parts in the Kiwas with those same KME heads. So we're putting parts in, we're getting to five or six sides, we're flipping them over on, the, on a vise, in, usually on the same side of that tombstone. So we're getting the part in there flipped and done. And again, with the, the Kiwas and the pallet machines, we have zero downtime on the spindle. Those machines were running three to six hours at night unmanned because of the number of pallets and the number of parts that are on the pallets. These machines will run, but they're gonna run about 50. We cut the cycle towns cycle time down so well that we're only going to get about a 15 minute unmanned time. Right. But we're going to get twice as many pieces done in a day. Right. Well guys, this is what I love about technology and a company like Hardy Machine is they're able to do something, but then they started thinking outside of the box of how we can do it better. To me, it is remarkable 
that we can take something with a four minute change over time, four, four minute part change time on a seven minute total program and remove it completely, which of course makes sense to investing in the future of our companies and of our businesses and of our employees and coworkers. Yes, I mean, if you're not moving forward, you're moving backwards. And we're constantly thinking, that's what I, with the guys out here in the shop, they're constantly thinking, but I'm also constantly thinking about where we want to be. I mean, we talk to some of our customers and they have these long-term plans. And we've actually asked them, okay, what does long-term mean to you? And they're like, six months. You know, I don't even, I'm not even thinking about six months from now. To me, long-term is over five years because I'm always thinking three to five years ahead. Where are we going? What are we doing? So, you know, and we need to improve. You know, the labor market's getting tighter. The pricing is getting tighter. Quality's going up. The complexity of the parts is going up. So we love to go to IMTS every two years, see what's out there. We can't keep up with IMTS, but we can keep moving forward. Right. Well, while you were talking, and that was inspirational, and I, I love, and I believe it was your father that said that, if you're not moving forward, you're moving yes, backward. It it's, it's fantastic advice. But I was trying to do a little bit of the math in my head as well, <laughs> right? So if I'm making seven parts an hour, or an eight parts an hour at seven minutes, you're looking at more or less an hour, right? 56 yep. minutes. And if you do that same math of eight parts time four minutes, you're looking at 32 minutes. So you have reduced that overall time of an hour and a half. You've reduced 30 minutes of it with the snap of a finger by adding these components. That to me is a testimonial in itself of what you're able to do on the robo drill with those added tombstones, uh, which I would like to reiterate the name of those two stores as well. So it's KME. They're out of KME. California. KME. So pay attention to that. Also, this technology is what allows us to create success, as in moving forward and not backward. Yes, very good. Uh, Bill, again, thank you for educating me. For me, this is a little bit new technology, which allows me to explore further into my passion in this industry altogether. So thank you for sharing your expertise and everything that you're doing here at Hardy Machine. Thank you very much for being here again. I, I love doing it, and you know, we're always looking for new people and new, new recruits. Awesome. Thank, Thank you, you so much, Bill. Thank you.